What happens when you go tanky? Search whip tail. Souls, send tanky, free plus, let's go, baby. Giving one card combos to an already broken deck that gets pens. Oh my god. Get ready for absolute greatness, boys. So if you're ready for the video, smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 31,000 subscribers. Check out the beautiful Troop Gaming playmats on troopgaming.com. Because I'm pretty sure all you guys have playmats. Because uh, there's just no way. There's no way that there are 31,000 Pendulum Family strong and only 300 playmats have been sold. So uh, step up your game, boys. Go on tripgaming.com, get the most beautiful mats. So if you're ready for the video, let's go, baby. Zodiac Pendulum time. Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, I'm going to show you why Zodiac and Demon is a legit threat. I'll explain as I go, so make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to see all the reasons why. But it's legit, bro. It's not even just for fun. So as you see clearly, Zodiac is just a bunch of one-card engines. Tanky, Barrage, Whiptail. They all one-card Dridents. The idea here is it gives you a contingency plan, and the contingency plan is through all hand traps, it just you're guaranteed a dry day. So if they ash your servant, if they veil your Crowley, I no more summon whip tail. You hop in one card interruption. It's a contingency plan. It's a contingency plan through all the hand traps people play. I'm telling you guys right now. The meta decks actually cannot play through one Dryden. They cannot play through one Conquistador. That's why Eldritch play. That's why Synchro decks play Eldritch in the, as an engine. It's the contingency. I brought this up in the Time Pendulum Graph uh, deck with Magicians. I brought the, this. is also a budget version you can play, which is Zodiacs. Obviously, well, it will be a little worse without the Souls because it synergizes amazing with the whole deck. So as you saw there, I just drew two cards for free off Magician Souls. I drew an extra and you just send the Tanky, send the Barrage. You get so much free plus. Uh, it's just so good. So I'm gonna fast forward just to show you what I mean by contingency. What are you getting Nibiru Veiler in here? You know, like, there's so much stuff that could happen. There's, there's a, but it's a contingency. What if you get hit before the jack comes up? What if your Crowley got Ash? What, what if Serpent got Ash? What if Crowley got Veiler? So you just pen something in the Whiptail, and you still got a Selene and a Dryden. Like, it, it just gives you a great contingency. So this is clearly a good hand. We have lots of pow draw power here. I wanna show you guys more so the deck list and just like the main part of it. It's contingency. Like, you just play Triple Barrage, a Tanky, a Whiptail, a Thoroughblade. Contingency. You have six one card through hand traps. You have oh, six one card interruptions now. That's the point of contingency, is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Is you need that backup. Like, as much as I hate backup plans, because it deviates from plan A, obviously. But you never know if your opponent has infinite hand traps. You want that backup plan. Uh, typically, with this build as well, you might want to save the normal summon for the very end, just in case they hit you with a bunch of hand traps, you just normal Whiptail. It gives you a solid contingency. And then most of the time you survive your turn two, you're OTKing them with access code in the following turn because one Selene equals access code talker for 5,300. So after that, Selene for 53, Selene, you make Selene, Mighty Master from scale, blow everything up, access code, blow up everything else, attack for game for 8,100. So yeah, that's that. And then we end up here on, on six negates, five on field, uh, one of which is Selene will summon back another Mighty Master when one is used and dried it into pop, which is good to have like, different uh, negate plus interruptions. So that's just a quick deck, pro deck, deck combo tutorial for you guys. Now I'm gonna show you guys the deck list. The deck list is straightforward. You play all the tanky and barrages, all the spell cards that could search the whip tail or the thorough blade. And you, after that, you just send it with souls. You get a free spell counter with servant and abductor or send it with souls. It, it, the synergy is amazing. And in terms of bricking, you actually don't brick. Like they, they, can't, they, they physically cannot brick you. So, I'm gonna give you an example here. Treat Tanky like an institution. A lot of you guys, for some blind reason, you're blinded. You're completely blinded. You play the institution still, why? So for the dream that you draw institution in Cerberus, what happens when you don't draw the Cerberus? Tanky basically does what institution does, except institution does nothing. So Tanky also gets you a whip tail. <laughs> and then Soul's just gonna send it away to draw one. But Tanky gets, uh, Tanky gets you a legitimate interruption in Dryden. And Dryden, you cannot sleep on a Dryden, man. A Dryden will pop on the opponent's turn and on your turn. You cannot sleep on a Dryden. You cannot sleep on that. Uh, even against different random rogue decks, bro. You could normal summon a Whiptail uh, to get rid of the Conductor. You know, just like the most smallest stuff. Uh, it, it's very powerful to have six cards in your deck to be one card Drydens. And it's something that the deck is really missing. Pendulum miss one card combos. They don't have one card combos. But having a few contingency worker combos helps the deck a lot. So the typical lineup here of the Servant, Triple Doctor, and the Six Negates slash Interruptions, I think this is correct. You could arguably take out one Jackal, one Mighty Master because you're playing six other Interruptions here. So you don't need an extreme amount of Interruptions. Uh, we're playing second Jackal just because of how important ja uh, Nibiru is to play around. 
So I play two because it'll be good to drop one. And uh, you don't break you're playing server. Don't play server. Some of you guys play Cerberus, but I can't stress this enough. Uh, Cerberus, it's the you're only playing Cerberus to special summon a jackal, right? And plus get a jackal. But if he gets Ash Blossom, you pass. If you get Savage, you pass. It's very bad for an abductor deck to be stuck with the Cerberus, especially when you're drawing 11, 12 times when you have 16 draw cards. If you're playing a draw, 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 draw deck, you're just gonna draw to a Cerberus and cry. So for this specific negate version, you cannot play Cerberus. In fact, you should not play Cerberus in any version. The Cerberus is, is a brick. It is a brick. You draw into it, what are you gonna do? Not, not play draw cards? The day that Desires and Allure get banned, let me know, I'll play Cerberus. But until then, I'm not leaving these cards. And even then, you still have Upstart into the Void, all those public cards. You wanna draw into dead cards. Uh, like spell like Cerberus's or extra spell book cards or a third desires But you have to play these cards because mathematically you don't want to not play pot of greeds. You're playing Four pot of greeds seven pot of greeds. You're literally playing seven pot of greeds in your deck. So you can't not not play them. So Anyways, uh, onto the rest of the list uh, You could potentially get rid of a third money master if you really want to but then your high scale count goes a little less Even though abductor counts as a pseudo high scale as well uh, triple crown grab one time games are very good for extending it makes the whole deck like synergize uh, One throw away one whip tail is better than two whip tail because if you draw For example, let's say you draw tanky and thorough blade you can use tanky to search whip tail normal thorough blade discard the whip tail draw card So that can work out well in that scenario You can actually also use Leica in that scenario where you thorough blade because then Leica can uh, special the whip tail You can link with one of them and then go to Dryden. So in this Thorough Blade uh, makes Lyco work a little better as well. Triple Souls, so good, so good with Tanky and Barrage. Double Blue Boy, Double Secret Knowledge. I always play this ratio, nevertheless, uh, at least for this format where you're still playing a bunch of hand trap uh, format. Uh, everyone's playing Mourner, Valor, Imperm. Well, if the Crowley gets Mourner, if your Blue Boy gets Valor or Imperm, you just simply use your Souls, your Chronograph, your Abductor, your Master, your Servant, your Reflection. Like all these extenders you have to make a Crowley, and that's since you have two spellbook blue boys in there, you can search it again. I'm starting into the void till they die. I'll be playing those triple desires till they die, triple lord till they die. Uh, look at this deck, you say, Oh my god, Triff, the only darks, you only have nine darks in your deck, bro. That is inherently incorrect. Abductor searches a dark. If it's not a dark, like spellbook blue boy, it draws into a dark. Upstart into the void, draw into a dark. Desire is drawing to a dark. Mastery, search a dark. They're all draw a card or search a dark. It's pretty damn simple. Allure always resolves. Worst case scenario, if you don't want to use it, just souls it away. But most of the time, you just you draw it or search it or souls it. Very simple. Uh, and then triple tank going barrage, and we play one instant fusion because it, it is very good in the deck with Millennium Eyes. Uh, side deck, we're still playing a bunch of hand traps because you don't want to lose the FTKs. And any of these one hand traps stop Elledge completely. Uh, any two of these stop Rock. Any, any one of these, with the exception of Ash Blossom. Imperial and Tongue Collector will stop the FT, Dragon FTK, so you're good there. Uh, in terms of the back row interruptions, you side out the Zodiacs going second, because it's more better going first. Going second is still good, it's definitely still good going second, but it's just an easy side out. It's a very easy side out. You don't want to side anything else out. I feel the other 34 cards are just mandatory, unless you're siding in Danko or Sphere Mode. So, I just take out the six Zodiac cards here for Double Ash, Reboot, Dino Wrestler, and Two Cosmic. These six do not take up your normal summon like Denko, and they're all good versus back row decks. Uh, they're all very good versus all back row decks. Just put those six in for those six. Uh, extra deck, triple Celine, one Crowley, you know, one Day Rig, one Crashy, one Mascarena, one Unicorn, one Axis Code Talker, one Appalooza, one Millennium Mines, one Vortex, one Absolute. So these 13 that you're seeing right there, those 13 should be the base of every single Pendulum deck, without question those exact 13 you must play those 13 without question i don't want to hear it instant fusion millennium is mandatory appalooza mandatory masquerade unicorn combo mandatory uh, or going second unicorn mandatory breaker mandatory triple scene all this stuff mandatory 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 uh the cards i took out uh, the part of this to make space for Leica and dryden are the 14 and 15 cards of the extra deck which is relinquished anima which i play because of restage if Restage was on a card, I would not play Anima. And then Sayuja, which in the extended version with Restage and Jester Confit, Sayuja is extremely important. But in this version, where you don't have Restage, you don't have Jester Confit, it's not necessarily that great. It's still very good. I would love to play 16. I would love to play Sayuja as the 16th card. Sayuja would be the 16th card in this extra deck. 
but you need to make space and there's nothing else you can cut. So I, I prefer to uh, Appaloosa over Soyuja. A lot of times it comes up a lot. Same with uh, all masquerading all these cards. And then Chuck and I and Dragon. So that's the video, guys. Hope you guys like it. If you guys got this far, smash the subscribe button. Hit the like button. We're almost at 31,000 subscribers. So let's get there, boys. And lastly, if you haven't already, get the beautiful Trip Game payment on TripGaming.com. Go there right now and just check them out. We will be uh, very soon, very, very soon, we'll be putting back the... Uh, old school Mighty Master Play mats, uh, the beautiful Iron and Demian Mighty Master Play mats that are sold out. The Celine ones are sold out, and they're almost all sold out. So check out the Servant one, check out the Trip one, and we'll be releasing a few new ones on there very soon. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Daddy.